Jay Bird here from NorCal Brewing Solutions. Hey, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this new tool that we've um, we've built for a customer. A customer challenged us to build a yeast brink. And what we're finding out is that this yeast brink um, now has a multitude of different jobs that it can do. So one of the tools that we created a while back um, is a yeast harvester with exhaust port to allow us to dump our yeast out of our conical fermenter and exhaust the air out of here instead of running that air, that oxygen, up through our beer. And so what we've done is we've actually taken our yeast harvester with exhaust port and we've added this down comber tube. And that's what actually turns this into a yeast brink. And if you're not aware, a yeast brink is a, um, it's a vessel that you can use to collect and re-inoculate other wort in different conicals, different fermenters, okay? So the way this works is this is for a half gallon yeast brink and this goes down in here and then you have the ring and that just locks it on there like, like so, okay? And then this will, whether you're using the, the half gallon or the quart jar, this would attach to the bottom of your conical. And so right now I have it set up in a way that I'm going to dump my yeast and exhaust the oxygen out here so I'm not transferring that oxygen up through the fermenter. And so I'm going to have to do this really fast, so here we go. Okay, so now what would have transferred into here is our yeast from the bottom of our conical, okay? Now, let's say that we have another conical and we want to go ahead and transfer that yeast and re-inoculate another conical, we would just simply take this off and attach it to our new conical that has our wort in it. We would remove our exhaust port here. And then all we need to do is just add our CO2 to here. Okay, and while we're doing this, I'm only going to be running this at about three pounds. And I filled this conical completely up so we have 15 gallons of head pressure um, pushing down just because this is the way that we would be using this. And then all I'm going to do is just turn this on. I've got my, um, my regulator set at about three to five pounds. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. And then I can open this up and you'll watch... It's just going to transfer that now what would be yeast right back up in there. And we're doing that under CO2 pressure, not oxygen. So we're not opening up our vessel. We're not um, bringing in contaminants. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we dry hop using this yeast brink. And it's actually really cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and take this apart really quick and throw some dry hops in my jar and then I'm going to be taking and stuffing those dry hops up into my beer basically the opposite way of what most people do which is open up their conical fermenter and drop them in so um, I'm gonna take this apart real quick and uh, show you how we do it So now what we're going to do, we've got our dry hops down in our yeast brink, and I'm going to go ahead and add beer down into my yeast brink. So I'm going to remove my CO2 in. I'm going to add an evacuation port. So now as I'm dumping my beer down in here, I'm not oxidizing my beer. Oxygen is leaving the port filling up my jar with my dry hops in it. So here we go. Okay, super, super simple. So now we have our dry hops literally in suspension in our beer. So now we're going to go ahead and if, like me with these, you're using very large pelletized hops, you may have to leave these in here for, you know, an hour or two before you actually get them up in your beer. Now the really neat thing about this is as it's sitting here, you're still in a sanitized state. You can let your dry hop stay in there for two, three, four days, however long, and then you can 
dump them right back down in there to get get them out of your beer. Okay, so now we've let this settle for a little while, and we've got our hops that are in suspension. They've basically turned to mush, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this with some gas, and we're going to be pushing those dry hops back up into our fermenter. Um, I'm using about eight pounds of gas, and so I'm going to go ahead and turn our gas on, and then I'm going to open up this valve, and you're just going to watch. It's just going to all shoot right back up into our conical. Just like that. And if you have a little bit left in there, um, you know, you can dump a little bit more out, shove them right back up in there, mix them up. The great thing about doing that is every time you do that, you are pushing CO2 back up through your beer and you're um, helping evacuate that oxygen that's in there. So there you have it. That's our yeast brink that we have found that we can use for dry hopping. Um, we can use for evacuating carbon dioxide or evacuating oxygen out of our fermenters, yeast collection, yeast harvesting. It's actually become a very killer universal tool. So, hope that helps. Uh, cheers.